What's going on, people? It's your boy coming back at you with another video. And today, you know, we finna get back into another uh, Mech Tech USA. Uh, let's get it. Yeah, it's a stiletto. I've seen some people videos of this, and they don't really... They say it's kind of crappy, but uh, I'm trying to get some of that. Sorry. I was doing a video from that um, the retention Mech Tech and, you know, the coding kind of get everywhere so if you see some little flakes that's what it is um we're doing this and they don't like it some people don't like it because it's it looks like they say it's a um looks like a fake tie light it really is a tie light um really is a tie light that's what it's based off of i can i could go get a tie light but the only tie light i seen as of the moment the last time i went i actually went on code studio website and the only tie light they had was the six inch blade and the six inch blade has a seven inch handle so it's actually a 13 inch knife overall I can't carry that here in Illinois can't carry it that's illegal that will it probably won't get me arrested but it'll get confiscated and that knife is like that's a hundred and something dollar knife and I really don't want to have a hundred and something dollar knife um, taken away and confiscated you know, because that's a hundred and something dollars down the drain that I'm not going to get back. So, I'm not going to do it. Um, if there's a smaller version that comes out at a lower price or on sale, I'll pick it up. Because um, I do like it. Um, but it works the same as the tie light. It's not the same metal, uh, blade metal, but it works preferably the same. Um, comes out pretty springy. Look at that again. Comes out. Man, comes out real good with a pretty nice snap to it. Uh, I like the blade that it has that little bit of blue on the front, like on the bevel. It has that blue. Uh, I think the whole blade should have been blue, but mm, it's not bad. Or at least made the faux, the foss edge have a little bit of blue on it. It's pretty good, pretty good. Um, like I said, um, the thumb stud on here doesn't work, which a lot of people said in their videos. The thumb stud doesn't work. You can't catch it. You can't catch it to work, to work it at all. You can't catch it at all. And I don't know what keeps saying you can't catch it. <laughs> but you really can't. Your thumb cannot get onto this to open the blade. So your best bet is using that. Um, if I had the time, I would definitely, uh, honestly probably try to get the thumb stud off because it doesn't provide any kind of help thumb stud should have been up an a inch more just an inch more probably would have helped you push that open um, only reason I'm not gonna take it off is because then it'll be a random hole right here and I really don't want it to just have a random hole sitting there so I might just leave the, the thumb stud on I don't know might say I might still take it off and just say screw it it's good it's sharp. I uh, it actually comes sharp. Some people were like, "It's not sharp," or blah blah blah. But those are old videos, and they probably were the first time they released these, and they probably didn't come sharp. This comes sharp. This is sharp. It's very sharp. Um, the only other stiletto I can compare this to is my uh, Milano, which I've been carrying. And the only issue I've had with my Milano is the pocket clip came off. Um, for whatever reason, I mean, it, it can be reversed, but I'm going to tell you one thing um, about the pocket clip. The pocket clip holds tight. It does hold tight for a few days. But, for whatever reason, the ends of the screws that come with the Milano are not riveted. They're just kind of, so it's kind of, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Hold on. What I'm trying to say, okay. I'm trying to figure, <laughs> I'm talking a little fast. Um, so I'm trying to, let me, you know, really focus on what I'm trying to say here. The screws don't have rivets. So basically, it's like, instead of them, the screws being actually screwed into the metal, it seems like they're kind of fix, friction fit into the metal instead of actually being screwed in. So after a while of it being clipped on your pants or being taken off your pants, the screws will 
begin to come loose because it will the friction will start to pull it'll start pulling apart because it's not actually screwed it's just into the metal because the metal is tight this came wrapped in plastic as you saw it came wrapped in plastic and it was brand new um, the box the only reason the box was easy to open was because I had cut the tape it was a, new in the box just like this the mech tech here it was new in the box so it was from the factory so the metal was still tight and that was what was keeping the pocket clip on some people probably will take the pocket clip off of these anyway because it looks so vintage and most people that buy them are probably not buying them for EDC they're probably buying this particular Pacific um, type of stilettos just for the look of them but um they're sharp another thing I'm it, it, this comes out with a little bit more of a pop than the than the mech tech but not by much mech tech still opens with a, a nice spring and a nice pop to it um, as well as this being a little bit thinner than the handle on this one the handle here is thicker but it kind of is more reminiscent of a uh, old school stiletto this is like I said more of the tie light because it's more thin and streamlined um, looking at the point on this one I, when I said it I said this one has a good point and I don't know if the camera's not quite focusing, but you can still tell that that tip is sharp. Look at the tip here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If the original version of these, I call it the tech light, because it does look like a tie light. The tech light. Uh, or mech light, whichever. <laughs> it's, um, so I'm going to call it a tech light. Um, it's if it was crappy when it first released, it's not anymore because this is awesome. This could be a re release, they probably took them back to the factory after some consideration and have, have redone them. No blade company had the perfect blades when they first came out, so the, the best company in the world, Spider Co. knives, probably were crappy when they first came out. It, take, it takes years for companies to get stuff together, and it. it takes people buying them and giving feedback to the company on what's wrong with the product so they probably listened to the some buyers and said you know hey this might be an issue the thumb stud is still an issue but it's sharp it's it, it's got a, a nice point it's dangerous man this is dangerous um and it it has the quick draw on it as you see it has the quick draw um It is a stainless steel. So this one's not 440C like this is this is 440 stainless steel. So this is a it's a okay steel, I guess. Cuz from what I heard 440 is 440 and 440C are good steels, I guess. I think 440C is good steel. 440 um A and B are okay. So this might be the lower end spectrum of that, so it's alright. Um, this is just plain steel, I'm guessing. Um, but still not bad, though, for an $8 knife. I spent 12 on this, and I got a little bit more quality. Um, it's got some weight on it. This, both, this has more weight than the mech, the, the, uh, mech light. Um, this has that thing I'm trying to see if I get it to do it now. It's not going to do it. You need something that will actually catch. That's another thing that I do think they should change. I think this should have hooked. This side should have hooked. It's down instead of this side. It's pretty cool. Because this, I found that sometimes you have to get, you, I'm going to have to get used to it because it's not, it's grippy, but it's also kind of slippery too. So your finger kind of slips off of it a little bit and it's not that big. It's kind of close to it to make keep it keep the size profile down. Like this one, I can just do that. This one, I gotta do a little bit extra. But you know, that's all. It it it's a good knife, man. Just try them out and see what's up. But you know, anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here. More videos coming. Peace.